Calisthenics is a collection of hundreds of bodyweight exercises, some of them better than others, but all serve some purpose. There are people who train to get specific skills like the human flag or the muscle up, whereas others do it just to feel fit and look good. But the most important exercises should be a part of every training program, as they build basic, fundamental strength. You can't build high buildings without a decent foundation, and the same goes for bodyweight training. You should never give up on reinforcing your basic strength, as it's the foundation on which you build upon more advanced skills, or pursue other specific workout goals. Bear in mind that I will be talking about the whole family of exercises, not the specific one. So here is my 5 most important exercises in calisthenics that meet these criteria. Push-up is probably the best known exercise in the world, but it's like that for a reason. It can be adjusted to be suitable for complete beginners, as well as advanced athletes. To top it off, all you need to do this exercise is the floor. Push-ups train mostly your chest, the front of your shoulders and triceps, but also use abs slightly. Pull-up is the second most iconic bodyweight exercise. It's slightly more advanced than push-up and requires more strength to be done in proper form. But here you can adjust the difficulty according to your experience as well. This exercise should be ideally performed on a bar, but can also be done on rings, overhanging elements, trees, and many more, so don't be discouraged if you can't access the bar. Pull-ups put the most stress on your lats, biceps, and forearms. Other back muscles and abs can also be trained by different pull-ups variations like body rows or L-seat chin-ups. Handstand push-up is the best bodyweight exercise for your shoulders. It is a little more difficult exercise, so start with easier variations. It is mostly using shoulders, but supporting your body on hands alone trains your whole upper body in some degree. Prerequisite to that exercise is holding wall handstand, so be sure to put some effort into it. The freestanding variation of handstand push-up is an advanced exercise, but isn't much more valuable for building the basic, raw strength so don't get too fixated on achieving it for this purpose. Leg lifts is a family of exercises that focuses on strengthening your core, hip flexors and front parts of your thighs. Being able to hold your straight legs in the air is important for many bodyweight skills. These exercises are also a great way to build you a six-pack. The range of motion in majority of leg lifts is strictly related to your flexibility in the pike stretch, so don't neglect stretching to get the most out of the exercise. There couldn't be such a list without the lower body exercise. Squats are one of the best leg exercises. When training with body weight only, you have to focus on the quantity, not the weight, to truly exhaust your muscles. Alternatively, you can do one leg squats, which are called pistol squats. However, these require good technique, because otherwise can damage your knees, so don't rush into doing them if you're a beginner. These five exercises are the most important in my opinion. Doing all of them gets you full body workout. I would suggest to do at least two sessions a week dedicated to increasing the basic strength. In some point of my career, I was so focused on getting all the skills I wanted that I stopped doing those fundamental exercises at all. In spite of getting slight progress in some skills, my overall strength decreased and I felt weak. Now I know that to build impressive skills, you have to put a lot of effort into the simplest exercises, because they are the roots of your skill tree. If you're interested in details on how to compose such workout, be sure to check out this video, where I'm showing example basic strength workout. 
give the video a thumb up, leave a comment and until the next time.